Good morning, Pocatello High School. This is Mrs. Delanis, your principal. I'm here with Mrs. Graham and Mr. Parker, and we are going to share with you some tips for being successful with hybrid learning. Now that our district has committed to going hybrid, we wanted to give you some ideas, things to think about for the remainder of the trimester to make your learning more successful. So let's get started. All right, first off, We've got three tips we're going to be discussing today. They are being prepared, establishing a schedule, and communicating. So be prepared. When you are getting ready for school every morning, bring your Chromebook to school with you. Make sure that it's ready to go and because you, you may need that at school. And then make sure that you take it home every day so that you've got it at home to do your virtual learning days. Also, make sure that your Chromebook is charged and if you forget and you don't get it charged, at least bring your charging cable with you so that we can find a spot for you to plug it in in class here. If you don't have internet at home, that's not an excuse or a reason not to get your learning done. So get creative, be resourceful. Find a friend that you can go to their house. Maybe you can tag along with mom and dad to work. Um, find an, a hot spot. There are lots of hot spots in our community, fast food restaurants, uh, the public library, all the parking lots at schools have Wi-Fi hotspots in them if you can find a spot to park there. You can also download your class assignments um, before you end the class period when you're physically at school and then work offline at home. And then when you get to school, you can upload, upload those assignments back into Google Classroom. So if you need help doing that, see um, one of your teachers. If you're an athlete, it's recommended that you get your assignments early from your class. So if you know you've got a game on or an event on Thursday, then on Tuesday, ask your teacher what you're going to be missing on Thursday so that you can get that work done completed ahead of time so that when you come back to school, you're all caught up and you're not trying to play catch up from your events. Also, plan on spending at least four hours a day working on schoolwork. So if you think about it, when you're in school, you're in school for six hours, and then oftentimes you go home and you have an hour or two's worth of homework. So it wouldn't be considered unusual for you to spend up to six or eight hours a day of schoolwork, depending on what you're getting prepared for, how much time you need to learn that concept, etc. So don't think that you're doing too much just because you're spending many hours. Just consider it part of the regular school day. All right, I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Graham, and she's going to talk about tip number two. Pocatello High School. The second tip for this morning will be to establish a schedule. Some tips we have for you in establishing a schedule include identifying a place in your home that will allow you to concentrate and do your best. You want it to be somewhere that can be, um, you can be somewhat alone, you're quiet, you're free from distractions, uh, maybe your pet, your animal, your siblings are not going to come in and disturb you too much. Um, also, you want to make sure it's somewhere that you feel relatively safe and that the camera, as it's pointed at you or your screen, if you're on the camera, doesn't give away any of your personal information. So just be careful that it's pointed at a wall behind you or somewhere that um, you can um, designate as your study space and does not include your personal space. Check Google Classroom each day for your classes at the beginning of your workday. You want to make sure you're logging into your Google Classes each day and that when you log in, you're making sure you check on that classwork tab and that you're making sure everything for that day gets completed and that anything that you might be behind on is getting completed. Complete your assignments each and every day and turn them in on time. There's a calendar feature in Google Classroom that can help you to organize your assignments. If you need help finding that calendar feature, talk to any of your teachers here at Pocatello High School and they can help you with that. That calendar feature will have all of your Google assign or all of your assignments that your teachers have assigned to you through Google Classroom organized in a way that you can see them and see when they're due. Remember that instruction and learning moves forward every single day. So even when we're not in school on a weekday or school day, we are moving forward. It's not necessarily just a review day or a catch up day. There should be forward learning in order for us to cover all the content that we need to in one trimester. Good luck.
we're going to talk about communication. Remember, there are a lot of ways to communicate with your teachers. You can email your teachers with questions. You can use the comments feature in, in Google Classroom if enabled. You can check to see if your teacher has a Google Voice or text. Check Infinite Campus daily. Prioritize in Google Meet sessions set up by your teacher. Remember that missing work is marked with an M or missing as a signal that work is past due. You can probably still turn in the work, but you might lose points, so try to avoid late work. Ask lots of questions. If you have a question, chances are that others have the same question. Don't be shy about what you're asking and, and what you need clarification with. Be persistent. Remember, teachers are working with 120 to 150 students every day. Collaborate with your classmates. Help one another. Learn from each other. Chances are there's someone in your class that can help you with your answer or with your question. So remember the three tips for to be successful in hybrid learning. Be prepared, establish a schedule, and communicate with your teacher and with your other classmates.